What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm sitting at home bored to death waiting for the ice to melt so I can get back out in the boat. And I'm kind of looking back at fishing and my experiences with fishing and one of the most fun fish that I've targeted is actually pike. Now pike are super annoying if you're trying to catch bass, musky, whatever, and you keep catching a bunch of pike. However, if you're actually fishing for pike, they're one of the most fun, aggressive fish to catch. So today we're gonna be going over five of my favorite all-time pike fishing baits. So let's get right into it. Now one thing with pike is they are a super aggressive fish and one thing I like to do for them is basically just annoy them enough to have them bite. Now this seems like a really unconventional method, however, like I said, they're such an aggressive fish and they're very curious that they'll hit basically anything that's shiny, noisy, and in their areas. And this is a fun way to catch them because I can throw different techniques that I typically would not use to fish bass and stuff and I'm able to catch a bunch of pike as well as have the aggressive strikes and stuff that make it a lot of fun. So one of the baits that I like to use is a lipless crankbait. Now the cool thing about a lipless crankbait is you can run it super fast. So what I like to do is burn this around grass and everything. You can also hop it off the bottom if the pike are down lower in the water column. And you can also sink it different columns of the water. So you're basically a very universal bait here. And as I said, you can just burn it by grass and stuff, which is one of my favorite thing to do for pike. Cool thing about the lipless crankbaits is they'll run true even at a fast speed. So you don't have to worry about them going crazy in the water like a typical crankbait. Next we've got a jerkbait. Basically jerkbaits are a fun thing to fish. You get to be kind of active with your rod and create a more fun fish catching technique. And these two are going to be Livingston Lures jerkbaits. Cool thing about these is they have the electronic bait fish sounds in them. So I've got two bright colors here as you can see, but they also put off a lot of noise in the water as well as action. And that's a fun way to catch fish. You can also get jerkbaits in deeper diving models if you need. So that's a good way to kind of cover the water column as well. Next, one of my favorite ways to catch pike is on top water. Just because they get out of the water and it's such a fun strike. You get to see them hit and everything like that. So it's also a very fun thing. Plus you get to see your bait moving and know that you're doing it right. So one of my favorite topwater baits for pike is going to be a walking bait. Again here I've got a Livingston Lures. This is the Pro Sizzle. Also creates the electronic bait fish noises. And then another one of my favorites is a Lucky Craft Sammy. And this one I didn't like at first because it's hard to walk out right out of the box. However, once I got used to it, this has become like my favorite topwater walking bait and I've caught tons and tons of fish on this. Now, if you want to catch some bigger pike, you can always step up to musky sized lures. And the cool thing about that is you get bigger baits that are also going to be a little bit more durable than some of your other baits. So if we look at like a spinner bait for musky, the cool thing about this is they're hand tied so you don't have to worry about pike destroying them like you would with a bass spinner bait. All you have to worry about is replacing the tail on here and it's a good way to go. You can also see how many fish have actually hit this because there's like no paint left on the blades compared to what it originally was. Then we've also got a bucktail from musky fishing. This one happens to be the twin drone from Esox Assault. It's a small size eight blade so it's still gonna be a smaller profile but you also have the chance to catch musky on this, which is really cool, and big pike. Now my favorite technique overall for pike fishing is gonna be using some type of prop bait on topwater. And the cool thing about this is you can change the speed with it rather than your walking bait that you're pretty much consistently walking. You can also get a lot more aggressive strikes because you're throwing it, making a lot more noise, and you can also burn these on top of the water, which is fun. So the first one is going to be a standard buzz bait. This one has literally seen hundreds of pike hit it and it's to the point where I've had like five new skirts on here. I hand tie them all but they still come off from catching so many fish. The wire's all bent up and this blade or the hook is not even connected barely anymore. The lead's coming off and this is really just a bait that has gotten destroyed by hundreds of pike. Also in that same category of the prop baits, we've got a couple other ones. The standard whopper plopper, which if you're a bass fisherman, you're probably very familiar with since a lot of people are throwing it in the last few years. And the cool thing about the uh, hollow body of the walking or the whopper plopper is that you can fish it a lot slower. You can pause it on top of the water if you want to pause and go again. And that's a really nice presentation. 
Now, if you want to kind of mix between both of those, you can go with the Evolution Baits. This is the Grass Burner. It's got the same blade like a uh, buzz bait does, but it also has the skirt and stuff, which is really cool. However, this has a hard body on there. So the cool thing about that is just like the Whopper Plopper, it's going to be able to float on top of the water. You're not going to have to worry about having a crazy fast reel to burn it. And it's also a bigger profile than a Buzzbait or the Whopper Plopper that I use. So it's a cool way to get a little bit bigger, aggressive fish as well. And as you can see here, this is in a white color. White is a cool color as well as any other bright color because it attracts the fish from farther away. And as I said, you're just trying to make them mad enough to strike. So white is basically a really good bait that they can see from a distance and come in to strike. So those are five of my favorite pike baits. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you did, leave a thumbs up below as well as subscribe while you're down there. We'll see you guys on the next episode.